guys, Kevin Elizabeth here. Today we are going to be talking all about wedding rentals. So I'm here with Jillian of To Be Designed San Diego. Jillian, tell everybody a little bit about your company. Sure. So we're To Be Designed. We are a rental company here in San Diego. Um, we do full design and production as well as rentals. And we now also have a floral side to our business as well. So we're really the full capacity um, for anything design related for your wedding, for an event, social, whatever it be. People will be interested to hear about your background. Um, you used to be a wedding planner. So tell everybody kind of about that transition and maybe how you feel like it's helped you in the rental business. Sure. Um, so I used to be a wedding planner here in San Diego. And then I realized I had babies and yeah. life happened. And so there was just no way I could do the whole planning thing yeah. and also um, be uh, totally available for my bride. So I realized though part of um, in that process was that really wedding planning, there's two sides to it. There's the planning aspect where you're working with the different vendors yeah. and you know, you're trying to organize all the things, but then there's also this design feature and the fun part, the fun part, the <laughs> yeah. super fun part. Yes. And the thing about it is, is on that day, there's so many things that are happening and there's, mm -hmm. you know, you need to take care of the bride. Yep. You need to take care of the DJ that needs a table and a linen. Yep. You have the caterer asking questions. Yes. And so <laughs> we realized my partner, um, in my past life, um, we realized that we needed to really separate the business and do mm -hmm. the design side and then do the planning side yep. of it. Um, so that helped us me transition more mm -hmm. into the rentals okay. and coordinating all of the elements that would go into that. So rentals, florals, um, linens, mm -hmm. tabletop, all of those things. And so really I got this great crash course, if you will, into mm -hmm. the design piece of it. And then TBD just kind of fell into my lap. Yeah. Um, another friend was selling her business and it seemed like a great opportunity and I had the experience from the past. Uh -huh. So here we are three years later and yeah, booming. booming. Like, everybody's booking them. <laughs> it's been really fun and we've been really blessed. Super I, blessed. I feel like anytime I get a wedding where it's not Jillian's rentals, I'm like, did these people not know about her? <laughs> like, You're so yeah. sweet. And then when I see that it's Jillian, I'm like, oh great. Like I know I'm going to have pretty stuff to shoot and it's going to be on time and you know, I Thank just you. get excited. So it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's been a good time. It's been um, interesting to see how the trends have changed over mm -hmm. the past couple of years and um, how we kind of went from a very vintage based company yes. and now we're going so much more modern and yes. glam. But it's funny too because I see some of the more traditional mm -hmm. elements coming back into style. Um, not necessarily vintage, but just that traditional, that timeless okay. piece. Um, so it's been just really fun. We get a plethora of clients that come through our doors from, you know, super chic to mm -hmm. very rustic yeah. to kind of all the things. And that's what I think really fuels my fire mm -hmm. um, because I love, I don't like to do the same thing yeah, over and boring. over. It's so <laughs> boring. So I love it when a client is like, hey, what can we do here? This is my thought. Mm -hmm. I want to marry all these things on my Pinterest board. And I'm yeah. like, no problem, girl. I got you. <laughs> nice. And so what all are you currently renting? Like what all is currently available? So we pretty much have everything you could want um, mm -hmm. from the specialty stuff. We are considered specialty. Okay. Um, however, we can we have access to everything and anything. So okay. we can do as basic of a chair to okay. the nicest chair out there, to an Oak Louie chair, which I yes. know you love. Yes. Um, so we can do all of those things. Um, but I would say the majority of our clients that are coming to us mm -hmm. currently are typically looking for that package deal. Mm -hmm. They want the bells, the whistles, and they just want to go to one company. Okay. They want to get what they can get mm -hmm. and then, you know, really utilize that budget to okay. the best of their ability yes. um, to have that full look so that mm -hmm. everything from ceremony to cocktail hour to reception matches it looks right mm -hmm. and then that's pretty much that's I would say that's the majority of our clients right okay. now versus piecemealing and going like I want one thing from this and one thing from gotcha. here just kind of the whole package so mm -hmm. ceremony arch cocktail out or items belly bars linens okay bars mm -hmm. um, lounges are yep. still huge everybody so loves a lounge fun, yes. and then tables tabletop we have some great other rental companies that we've teamed up with for right. tabletop, mm -hmm. um, which has been awesome. We don't we have some things in our inventory, but we really okay. don't carry a ton. Just too much to wash. Yeah. I do not want to be washing silverware <laughs> yeah, and glassware. <laughs> um, so we have teamed up with some people that we really trust and that we really like their product, and mm -hmm. so it's been yeah. a good fit for us. So I know you guys work a lot with Hostess Haven. We do. Um, who I feel like I need to do a whole separate video on for just tabletop rentals. Totally. Bride is coming in here. She kind of wants to do everything in one place, so. You have, and I'll put like some photos of this other wall in her office, all, all the Hostess Haven stuff, 
But so a bride is like, hey, I want to rent these things so you guys can do that here, like through Hostess Haven and make it easier, right? We can, yeah. So as long as you hit our minimum, Mm -hmm. um, for 2019, we have a $3,500 minimum order. Um, We are increasing our minimum in 2020, and we're going up to a $5,000 minimum because of those things. So we can rent from Hostess Haven. We can rent from other specialty rental companies. Honestly, we're all, you know, yes, people might consider us competitors, but I don't. It's a community, you know, and I'm not going to have everything for my client. Yeah, it's different stuff sometimes. Totally, and it's just a great opportunity for the client to come here. They only Mm -hmm. have to talk with one person versus going in a bunch of different, you know, locations and paying different delivery fees, and so we can kind of help cater that Mm -hmm. and pull all of those elements together. I know you guys have so many questions for Jillian. Um, We have a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into those. Um, So we've covered what all you're renting. Now I would love to know what rentals you feel tend to be more necessary. Like what are people really needing? And then what are nice to have if you've got extra room in your budget? Sure. So the basics are tables, chairs, Mm -hmm. linens, Um, I am a big fan. If you're going to do any tabletop, you definitely, I think in my opinion, an upgraded (laughs) flatware set. Yes. Um, It could be as simple as a knife and a fork. You Mm -hmm. don't have to have the full place setting. It's too crazy, especially depending on your food and your caterer. Mm -hmm. Um, I would definitely do a water goblet because Mm -hmm. no one wants to go to the bar to get water during dinner. That's like my have to have for my (laughs) brides. Um, And then a charger plate if you can afford it. But a lot of people are honestly getting rid of the charger plate and they're Mm -hmm. doing a presentation plate. So it might just be a dinner plate size, but it's something that's upgraded in that specialty, but it Mm -hmm. looks really pretty and they can either use it if they have a station style event or it can be taken away and then whatever Mm -hmm. their meal is being served is just placed down in front of them. So that's, those for me are like my have to have tabletop items, um, tables and chairs for sure, obviously Mm -hmm. belly bars for cocktail hour, nice to haves are upgraded bars, lounges, (laughs) which I love a lounge. Yes, me too. <laughs> um, those are my favorite things to shop for. Yes. And then I would say escort boards are really fun. Mm, so those are fun. becoming very popular right yes. now, which is great. Huge. Um, but you don't have to do as elaborate as some of these ones that we see. You yeah. could do something basic. So mm. there's so many ways that you can tailor. And I really try and tell my clients, give me your overall budget. Yes, and tell let's them. <laughs> see. Yeah, tell me your budget because I can I can sell you the dream. I can sell you all the things in the yeah. world. But if it doesn't fit, then I'm just getting you really excited for something you can't even have. So I would much rather they say, okay, I have X amount of dollars. And then from there, I can steal from different areas Mm -hmm. to really make that budget as full as it possibly can be. I know sometimes there's this thing like, oh, I can't afford to do all these rentals and everything, but I love the way it looks. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people can just do the head table decked out totally, and let everything else be more simple. Yep. That's a great option as well. Mm -hmm. Um, The head table, it's where your most important people are for the most part anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, So if you're going to do head table or we've even done head table and then parent tables, depending on how large, sometimes people's families can be really large. So it gets a little too crazy, but you could definitely pinpoint out some mm-hmm. tables. I'm all about the eclectic look. I think eclectic is totally still in. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a great option. Yeah, so it's like the best of both worlds. You're not paying to have every single guest have upgraded rentals. Exactly. But you can tell your photographer, hey, we have, like, the nice stuff at the head table. Yep. Shoot that mostly. Yep. And kind of, like, get a quick thing of everything else. Totally. So it looks like in photos, you know, it looks more lush overall. But mm-hmm. you're not having to spend all that money for every single seat. Agreed. Which is great so the next question is what are the most popular rentals Mm. maybe even things that might run out fastest sure so I would say farm tables are still super in the specialty table whether it be a farm table um, we have marble tables we have chem tables we've Mm -hmm. got white farm tables now Mm -hmm. we have all different types of table I feel like that's where people are really trying to expand on Mm -hmm. just the look in general instead of the linen and the table and linen anymore Mm -hmm. Um, they're really going or they're doing a mix maybe right Um, so I would say those kind of go the quickest okay and then obviously an upgraded chair but that also lends to it being a basic rental item as well so um, those go we do see a lot of lounge our Mm -hmm. lounges go very often um, and very quickly just because they're kind of that don't have to have but somehow I'm gonna make that happen in my budget (laughs) so we tend to do a lot of lounge as well Um, those are probably my my two biggest that I see going out repeatedly Mm -hmm. I had a bride ask what are some of the more popular colors she also wanted to know if you know she was saying she kind of wanted to do rainbow colors at her wedding, but mm-hmm. you might not be able to find something like mm-hmm. that. So she was wondering, what kind of a color range do you typically see in your rentals? Um, so we try and stay pretty 
different, okay. I would say. Like, we have a quite a big range of colors, mm -hmm. um, and we have access to, you know, all the things as well. So okay. that definitely helps. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say this year, I am actually seeing a lot of rainbow. Oh, Not fun. rainbow in primary colors, but okay. more sunset rainbow. Gotcha. So think bubble gums and corals. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely seeing that for spring coming. Yes. Um, some of the really cool blues, those like fun sky blues. Mm -hmm. um, green is definitely in still. I love green. <laughs> yep. And animal print is coming back, oh, which I'm fun. like, yes. <laughs> They're like totally speaking my language yeah. with the animal print. <laughs> Here we have a very wide variety of things. Okay. Um, but then, you know, obviously, as far as the trends go, we try really hard to stay up with the trends. Okay. Um, so we'll be buying things mm -hmm. really every other month we buy wow. new inventory. So couples are probably going to need appointments to come in here. Totally. Um, how does that process work? How long should they expect it? Who should come with them? Okay. Um, just generally, what are you going to do with an appointment? Yeah, so typically what we ask is that you would send us an email with a general inquiry. Okay. So give us some basic details. Mm -hmm. Where's your wedding? What's your date? How many guests are you having? Mm -hmm. Do you have a color scheme? Do you okay. have a Pinterest board? If you do, yeah. share it with us. Because yes. then I can start to see and really gauge mm -hmm. what we're going to be looking at when we do sit down and meet. And then most importantly, we talk about that budget expectation. Mm -hmm. Because for us, I don't want to waste your time and you right. don't want to waste mine. So it's important that we're all on the same page going yep. into it. Mm -hmm. And then once that happens, typically I'll say, okay, this looks awesome. I can either work on some preliminary designs ahead mm -hmm. of time, or if it's better, I love meeting in person. We have a great little studio. It's um, very cute. <laughs> it can, yeah, it, we can host as many or as little people as want to come. Mm -hmm. Typically, I recommend for the design process, the bride, mm -hmm. mother of the bride usually. Mm -hmm. um, groom, sometimes he wants to come. Yeah. Sometimes it's not his thing. It depends how your groom is. It's yeah. okay if he doesn't want to come. It's okay if he does and he doesn't say a word. Yeah. I've, I've had those before. Yes, I've had many of them. Um, so, But definitely, I always like to say, you know, the moms, they love it. This mm -hmm. is, I think, the most exciting part yeah, for them. Because aside from the dress, this is like the other tangible item of the day right. where people can really see what goes into yes. it. I definitely recommend to keep it small. Mm -hmm. And then typically once you come in, well, it's usually about an hour. Okay. Um, we'll sit down and we really talk through the vision. So okay. how do you envision yourself on that day from the time mm -hmm. you wake up to the time you walk down the aisle? Okay. Once you get back up that aisle and you walk into that reception space, what okay. are the elements to you that are the most important? Okay. Because that is ultimately how you figure out your budget too. Yes. For meetings with couples who have planners, or is the planner usually coming in yeah. as well? Yep. If okay. we, yep. Planner, and usually the planner will reach out direct. So okay. they'll be the one to kind of set it all up. Gotcha. Um, for our brides that aren't working with a planner, or maybe they're just doing a month of, mm -hmm. they typically wouldn't come. Right. Although some planners, they do, they love this yeah. meeting as well, <laughs> so fun. they do come. Um, and then if you did decide to move forward, we usually will also do mock-up options okay. as well. Very so depending cool. on who your vendor team is, we can mm -hmm. then host the mock-ups here in the studio. Okay. And usually that'll be arranged via planner or myself, okay. depending on who's involved. Do most couples come with a design idea or like nothing at all? I would okay. say 50-50, honestly. 50-50, okay. they have a set idea okay. um, of exactly what it should look <laughs> like. But then there's also the people that are like, I don't have an exact vision, but mm -hmm. these are my have-to-have. Okay. which have to haves are great like mm -hmm. tell me your non-negotiables right okay. we have non-negotiables in everything in life right there's non-negotiables here in design um and then I would say 50 are like just do whatever I trust okay, you that's fun <laughs> and those are super fun yeah. because I mean obviously within reason right like, there's of course design boards I don't just show up with you know yeah. feathers Surprise, and waving yeah. wands and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I would say the majority of clients come in with some kind, at least a okay. color scheme. Gotcha. A color scheme is a great place to start. If yeah. that's all you have, that is okay. I can go from there. What if a couple wants something and you don't carry it? So it depends. Mm -hmm. um, if it's something that will help you reach our minimum and mm -hmm. you were already doing other things that are in-house here at TBD, mm -hmm. then we can either source it from a different vendor that okay. might not be part of our actual partners that we work with all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we do source all the time, though, for our clients at that blue mm -hmm. couch. They yeah. happen to really want that, and mm -hmm. it just seemed like a great fit for our inventory. Sure. So it's like, fantastic. We'll get a great couch out of this. Mm -hmm. Client's going to get what they want. Yep. And together, it's like the perfect marriage. Are you guys ever building anything that you don't have? We build all the time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
if I could take you back there right now, you yeah. would be like, whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, we build tons of stuff. We okay. build bar. We build tons of different bars. Mm-hmm. We just built. Um, my director of sales just built these amazing trees. They're like wood trees Ooh, cool. that hung. They well, they were supposed to hang food off of them, and uh-huh. then we had some catering issues. But yeah. <laughs> they were like super, super sick. So anything that you see mm-hmm. that you want to replicate, we mm-hmm. are always down for a project, mm-hmm. um, as long as it makes sense and it's something right. that can fit one in the inventory and in our warehouse in general. Yeah. Um, we typically don't say no because okay. it's a great way for us again to just continue to differentiate ourselves. Mm-hmm, for sure, we really want my tagline here at TBD is create the things you wish existed. Okay. I want a company that exists where you don't just see on Pinterest and you can just call someone and be like, "Hey, give me five of those." Yeah, that's not that's not really who we are. Mm-hmm. So I would totally dig the client that's like, "I want." The stars, the moon, and everything in between. I'm like, great, let's do it. Yeah, it's a fun project. (laughs) Tell me like a general average cost that you're seeing. I would say if you have, if you're looking at your whole entire budget, Mm -hmm. I would say between your florals and your rentals, and of course this is super conservative Mm -hmm. and this is very basic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, if flowers are really important to you, your flower budget is probably going to blow this out of the water. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But if you are just kind of looking for a beautiful, timeless, still super pretty, but mm-hmm. don't have to have all the things. Okay. I, I usually tell my clients you're at about 20% of your total budget okay. is about what you'll spend on rentals mm-hmm. and some floral. Okay. It, like I said, if you want all the floral in the world, mm-hmm. then that's probably not the case. Yeah. But if you're going for, you know, just that really pretty basic wedding, I think we, we could okay. definitely do it for between 20 30% okay. um, is a, definitely a good buffer. So we typically have a delivery fee. Um, that delivery fee pays for the truck itself. Okay. Um, and then we do a labor fee. And most of our other competitors are also doing labor fees okay. now because I think what we're realizing is the time on site, and this is the piece mm-hmm. that our clients don't necessarily see, Yes. and this is the hard part to justify sometimes right. for them, is we are on site sometimes for a wedding for six hours just yeah. setting up. And That's that could be three, four guys mm-hmm. that are there moving chairs, setting tables. A lot of times when we're doing more of the full service for our clients, we're dropping charger plates. We're dropping okay. flatware. We're setting the chairs. Mm-hmm. You know, we're doing all of those smaller details okay. that take so much more time. Yes. Um, and so we do now do the on-site labor as well okay. as delivery. Um, there could be a chair relocation fee if you use them in ceremony and then you want to move them to reception. We're totally okay. down to do that, but there is a fee, gotcha. obviously, to keep so you have to guys. stick around. Yep. Move stick it. Stick around, yeah. move it, and then, you know, come back later that night. Yeah, and, and those it. guys aren't working for free. <laughs> they so. are not working for free. <laughs> yeah, <no>. so <laughs> you have to make sure you're charging for that, and that's Definitely. fair. We know our venue super well, so mm-hmm. if I know that there is going to be a venue that's a pretty easy load in, we okay. have ample amount of time, mm-hmm. there's some wiggle room for us. So I had a person ask about who is responsible for damages we have a very lengthy terms and conditions okay. for this exact reason <laughs> yeah. and I will be honest in the three years that I've been doing this particular business and even prior in like the wedding planning side of it mm-hmm. I've only had to really implement our terms and conditions probably three times okay um, we try super hard to do our due diligence on our end to really set us up for success too what my crew will typically do is we'll take photos of everything before we leave so that when we come back should mm-hmm. anything be different than that photo, okay. then we have one proof to be right. like, okay, this happened for sure here on site, and we know mm-hmm. that because this is how we delivered it. Right. Then from there, we'll assess it, we'll bring it back to the office, we'll figure out what happened. If it's something, for example, you know, there's general wear and tear on anything right. in life, even at your house on your couch, you yes. sit on it enough times, it's going to start to get Mm -hmm. mushy and you know there's going to be stains and there's going to be food in the cracks yes so we understand like the general stuff but let's say for example someone takes a big glass of red wine I think that's my (laughs) number one question well what happens about grandma so-and-so with her red wine I'm like well so if that's the case we're very on it we will do our best to get it out ourselves okay if for some reason we can't Mm -hmm. because sometimes that does happen then we'll start talking to the client and say, okay. hey, look, this is what happened. We did our best. This is the result of us doing it. Mm-hmm. We're going to either need to bring in a professional cleaner to okay. clean this, mm-hmm. um, and then the cost would be relayed to the client. Okay. Or if that still doesn't work, then we have to talk about either replacement costs or whatever. The more issues that I do have, though, are with tables, weirdly enough, uh-huh. side tables. They keep coming back broken. I don't oh. know if people are, like, sitting, sitting on them because they maybe. think they're at school. Oh. I haven't figured that yeah. out. Yeah. So weird. But with things like that, then obviously, 
obviously mm -hmm. there's really nothing that we can do. We have to okay. replace it. Sure. And so then we'll send the picture to the client. We just had this happen a week ago. Okay. Um, but the client, they get it. They're like, yeah. oh, that's it. I'm calling all my friends and yeah. going, who sat on that seat? <laughs> I am totally taking you yes. and give me your credit card. I'm yes. paying, you know, on your dime. <laughs> um, but that, and just like little things, you know, mm -hmm. candles or yep. random little tchotchke things sometimes yeah. walk away. So, I mean, mm. it's super cute stuff. And I think people just are like, oh, well. You know, yeah, we'll they, just take it. Mm -hmm. So weird. So weird. <laughs> so I would never weird. do that. But yeah, so that's <laughs> typically how our like breakage and fees. Okay. Weather is a different beast. Yes. So if we see that there's rain anywhere in that forecast leading up to the wedding, we're mm -hmm. going to be super on it. Okay. And it is basically set at three days out. Mm -hmm. The day before your event, before we load our trucks and take all that labor and that time and everything, yep. we need to call it yes okay. or no are okay. we putting this stuff outside are mm -hmm. we not putting it outside if you say yes to put it outside then you are 110 percent liable okay for any damage that is done to that now okay. if we also know though that it's more than a 50 percent chance mm -hmm. that we might say sorry we're just not bringing anything upholstered okay because it's just it's going to get ruined right and then you're going to be spending a million more dollars yeah. to replace all of this stuff yeah. and that's not worth it either no now if you get a tent which is what mm. our biggest recommendation is yes. to anybody Life because saver. i'm not even sure how you would have a wedding in yeah, the rain in that rain. wouldn't be very fun <laughs> for your guests um so if you get a tent mm -hmm. then that's something again that we can then open it back up for conversation okay figure out how we can get it safely inside it might be mm -hmm. that we have to put down a hard surface underneath the legs of the couches okay rugs might not come because okay. we don't want to put rugs on right. wet grass yeah. or wet mud or whatever mm -hmm. um or it might just be that we have to shift a little bit of the design for those okay. specific pieces. One thing to consider with the tent is if you are getting married in San Diego, mm -hmm. January to April, have in your back pocket an extra two to $3,000 okay. for your basic tent. That's okay. literally going to be the poles and the okay. covering above you, mm -hmm. but it will get you at least yeah. some relief from any type of rain that may happen right now if it's such a big deal that you have to do the tent and you really want to blow it out of the water because yeah. everything else looks so amazing yes then you really need to be prepared for you know ten thousand okay. and above with the draping and the lighting mm -hmm. and yep. if they're doing it in a cold time frame, yeah. <laughs> then you're going to need heater a yes. big heater that goes in there so there's a lot of elements to a tent and they mm -hmm. definitely can be overwhelming and it can be a little frightening yeah. to have to add that big chunk mm -hmm, to the end sure. budget especially when you're so close yeah. and you've paid all your other vendors yeah. that does tend to bite people sometimes is there anything else that you think couples should be aware of when it comes to rentals in the process of figuring out your rentals really hone in on what's most important to you okay get that budget situated yep. so that you know where you can fall yeah and then just be as open and honest in communication I will send design boards out and I might miss it. I might miss the mark or I yeah. might hit the mark. If I hit it, great. I'm stoked. Yeah. But if I miss it, tell me. Yeah. Don't be afraid to hurt my feelings. Yeah. I've been married. I've done this. Yes. Like I don't I it, I do not take any offense to it. Right. Because if I'm not doing the right thing, then mm -hmm. I can't better myself for the next client or right. for you moving forward. Literally, you could be like, Jillian, I hate that. And I'll yeah. be like, okay, <laughs> and how about this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you would rather them say that than say nothing. Than say nothing, totally. Yeah. <laughs> you can say all the things to me. I take zero offense. <laughs> Great. So if somebody is wanting to book you, um, where, first of all, do you service? Sure. So we're San Diego based, but we'll pretty much go anywhere as okay. long as it fits within the minimums for those particular okay. regions. So gotcha. we'll do Orange County, we'll do LA, we've been to Vegas, Arizona. Okay. Wow. We'll, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll pretty much travel. Okay. Um, we love to travel and it's a great excuse for us. Yeah. And if you are looking to, you know, move forward with TBD, mm -hmm. my best recommendation would be to shoot me an email. Okay. Um, you can get in touch with me at hello at tbdsandiego.com. Okay. You can also see our full portfolio on mm -hmm. Instagram. We have so okay. many things on Instagram. Yes. Shoot me an email. Give me those initial details, day, guest count, mm -hmm. Pinterest board, all of yes. those things. Then we can get the conversation rolling, get okay. you in here to the studio and start figuring out how we can work together and what's going to make the most sense for you. Perfect. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you feel like you know way more about rentals now. I hope this got you super excited and thank you so much, Jillian. Thank for you. I'm so excited. Thank you. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye you guys. Bye.